China used this situation in Parliament to affect Taiwan's politics? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt that the Chinese Communist is, is intent on shaping the politics here. Mm -hmm. They're intent on shaping the politics in Niger, <coughs> in Ukraine, in America, in Japan, all across the world. No, the Chinese Communist Party is making significant efforts to use not only the United Front propaganda campaigns, but whatever they can do to coerce legislatures all across the world. No, uh, Taiwan ought not think itself mm. unique in this risk. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party is some, it must be confronted. And importantly, leaders uh, like your new president and leaders who understand this threat from China need to speak unambiguously about that. And when they attempt to interfere mm. in our political processes, we need to both call them out for it and do whatever we can to stop them. Uh, you're now here in Taiwan for the presidential inauguration, and uh, you must have met President Lai. And what did you discuss with him? Yeah, so I've had the chance to get to know him a little bit. I, of course, know the vice president even better, as she was oh. uh, your ambassador to the United States, so I've spent mm -hmm. much time with her. Mm -hmm. I think they share a common vision for the people of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. I think they share a determination to deliver mm -hmm. good outcomes. Uh, just as this was a rigorous campaign, a hard-fought campaign, uh, where they made promises to the people of Taiwan, I'm convinced mm -hmm. that their sole focus, that the new president's sole focus, is to deliver on that for the Taiwanese people. And I, uh, I, I have great confidence that he'll do that. Do you have any advice for the President Lai? Oh, goodness, he doesn't need my advice. Oh, really? uh, he, he, he knows exactly what's required uh, for the people of Taiwan. My, my only wisdom to each leader um, that I encounter is to uh, be true to the things you said you would do. Uh -huh. I every day wake up thinking, like, what did I promise I would do? And try your best to deliver uh -huh. that. And when you do, uh, there'll be tough days, there'll be rambunctious days, but good things will happen. Taiwan's parliament has been chaotic lately, and our parliament is controlled by the opposition. Do you think that would affect the light administration? Yeah, oh yes. No, no, no. democracies are rambunctious places. Mm -hmm. our, our legislature has been... I think you said chaotic. Our, our, our legislature has been uh, difficult, too. Even during when I served in the legislative branch, it, it certainly was. Uh, I served in the legislative branch in America when President Obama was there, so the, the president from the other party. And it definitely shaped his uh, capacity. It presented real challenges for him. And that's okay. That's what democracies do. They choose different mm -hmm. people for different positions. I'm confident that this new president mm -hmm. has been empowered to execute on his vision, and I'm confident he'll deliver good outcomes. Can China use this situation in Parliament to affect Taiwan's politics? Oh, I don't think there's any doubt that the Chinese Communist is, is intent on shaping the politics here. Mm -hmm. They're intent on shaping the politics in Niger, <coughs> in Ukraine, in America, in Japan, all across the world. No, the Chinese Communist Party is making significant efforts to use not only the United Front propaganda campaigns, but whatever they can do to coerce legislatures all across the world. No, uh, Taiwan ought not think itself mm. unique in this risk. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party is some, it must be confronted. And importantly, leaders uh, like your new president and leaders who understand this threat from China need to speak unambiguously about that. And when they attempt to interfere mm. in our political processes, we need to both call them out for it and do whatever we can to stop them. This is your third visit to Taiwan. Can you share your deepest impression about Taiwan? Uh, I, boy, goodness, uh, so many. Uh, first of all, it's a beautiful place. Um, I'd never had the chance to travel outside of Taipei oh. until the, my last trip and had a chance to see other parts of the island as well. There's still other places I would love to explore. Um, but apart from its natural beauty uh, and its economic importance, the people are just spectacular. Uh, they're so kind. They're so caring. They're so hardworking. They care about families. They care about their faith. Uh, this is the, these are the kinds of people that are the best of America, and I think the Taiwanese people and the American people share a lot of that. Uh, I do appreciate this opportunity to have a conversation with you. Thank you. And wish you have a nice day in Taiwan. Thank you. Thank Bless you. you. Thank you.